Hello, and welcome to ShePack Unleashed. I'm one of your hosts, Tanya. I'm Nicole. Welcome to your weekly dose of candid discussion and the pursuit of finding your tribe in this journey of motherhood, womanhood, and sisterhood. I'm Ashley. Join us as we leave no stone unturned. In each episode, we have heart-to-heart conversations that aim to challenge and empower one another. I'm Jenny. No more waiting. She Pack Unleashed begins now. On this week's episode, Between the Pages, unveiling the magic of book clubs. I'm very excited for this. Yay! Yay! <laughs> As a former I'm, reading I'm, teacher. Yeah, I'm so sad I, I forgot my book club you have my, your best my, my book talk shirt. merch I have yeah. mine. no my favorite one is I have a cereal tea company Ooh. from Akatar. I need you guys to tell my husband because I have nada well I'm, your husband I'm listens ready. he's number one fan so like <laughs> that toe as you're listening to this you need to buy your yeah now that stuff. he's bragged about being our yeah. number one that's fan that's true for, for, keep it up. for the listeners you guys are wearing shirts I have a Harry that are Potter t-shirt because that's all I had okay I have a Biscayeth Ah, fourth wing. Fourth wing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You yeah. looked at me. That's what I want. Because <laughs> you, you actually, I, I read you most that of that one. book. Did you finish that one? I Close. could not finish it, no. Oh but I got like this seven. Blasphemy. Kind of blasphemy. It is kind of blasphemy. Uh, yeah. Says I, the one who couldn't finish like <clears throat> books that I like. Well, hey, hey, hey. We're not going to yuck of, each other's oh, yum. It was 900 pages. And I had of no forking. idea. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Moving on, we're gonna chat about book clubs. <laughs> this is about book clubs. We have our own book club together. Very disparate in the best way. Yeah. <laughs> so I think one thing that we could definitely jump off with is talking about the different types of book clubs that exist, or at least that we have personal experience with. Because let's be honest, I'm sure there's a million different variations of book clubs in the world. But we, between the four of us, have experience with four different book clubs. So we can jump off there. Maybe, Jenny, you've been in the longest running one. So how about you start? I have a couple. So, yeah, I was a a middle school teacher. So my first book club ever was actually with other teachers at the school where I taught, which is 10 years ago now. Um, And then our last neighborhood was part of that book club, which was a monthly meeting. My current neighborhood, yes, it's been long running and I came into it later, um, which I'm really enjoying and happy to share more about – that and then also really enjoy an online book club where they send me a box every month and I get to open it and there's normally like a little prize and a book to read and then there's all sorts of online materials that's the Jen Hatmaker like book a paper club. book yes you can do the audible or the paper book but it's similar I think Oprah does something similar or oh. is uh, there like online forums Facebook yes. groups for it yeah, okay there's that was social- my big question like how do you get community with like an online book it's club amazing, what does that look actually. like actually is so it's Um, like a Facebook group for chatting. And then there's a web portal where they have content. They pre-populate questions, kind of discussion guides. They always uh, curate a Spotify playlist with the author of the book that month. And they do a live Q&A with the author they put on Zoom, which I got to join once. Wow. Um, Yeah, it's really well done. Um, So if you're looking for a book club and you don't have one in your neighborhood, it's a great one to check out. We can share a link for that one for sure. Yeah. It just makes me think that we are in book clubs for very different reasons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, uh-huh. wait, wait, so what about your neighborhood one? Tell us, like, how does that one work? Like, how is it structured? Yes. Um, so the neighborhood one, we meet every month on the third Thursday of the month. Um, the books are picked the December of the year before. So the holiday party is always a big reveal. And my neighbors... Like for the whole year ahead of time? For the whole year. What if like a new good book comes out? You read it and it, like it's the whole year. But it's really fun because there's normally like a rap or a show or some like gig, like entertaining thing to show what the books are. That's, int- that's a lot of effort. It is. I love it. And I don't do it, right? So somebody else is doing <laughs> okay. the mental yeah. work, which I appreciate. I also really appreciate that they've made um, kind of the expectation that you don't recommend a book if you haven't read it, mm. which is really up to like the quality of what we're reading. Um, Who gets to recommend so books? So neighbors all recommend books. And then the committee decides. The committee? I, I mean, committee. it's not very formal. There's like a handful of women who take this on. I'm sure if I wanted to opt in, I could. But I like that they do the mental work. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Um, and there's some structure to it. Like there's normally beachy reads in the summer. October is always a mystery. February is always smut. Oh, and nice. I like that predictability. And then December, we don't have a book, right? Because we do the party. So nice. it's been really fun. It's very structured. It's very structured. You know, if I'm going to take the time to read a book or listen to a book, I want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. um, 
yeah, so I appreciate the the folks that, that do all the thinking and the organizing. And some of the women that have older kids, like the snacks are on theme, the decorations are on theme, not always, wow. but sometimes they get real, like we did lessons in chemistry and the woman who hosted is a scientist. So we so all a wore- So different person hosts every time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We all wore lab coats and she had like a drink with like a science experiment on how to make it and you can make it different colors and the beat. it was so fun that is fun you and did a barbie themed something didn't you we did we read um oh no not barbie that was britney we read britney yeah, so we all dressed wore barbie different thing, Britneys. I remember. that was fun yeah um for the smut book i mean i should take a picture of some of these snacks that folks have made that were, were there penis picture of oh, tons. yes <laughs> excellent uh so yeah i think it's really fun and you know uh, I, I think when my kids are in college and if I'm still there and this is still going, like then I'll be one of them, right? Who has the time to be super creative and, and well, give Well, let's back. say you are hosting later this year. For the first time, yeah. And you're what hosting? What book are you hosting? Fourth Wing. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And we are all invited. So oh, we're going to okay. crash the book club. And I made sure that this we were allowed. This is the allowed. first time the book club has ever done fantasy too. Oh. Really? So we're going to bring our A game. It feels like also though, I will say that the fact that you have to like plan it so far in advance, like Fourth Wing is like so far out now. It's old news now. Right. There's there are some the people that have already might, read it. Might right. And there are some people that are reading it for the first time and it's, it's okay. Yeah. 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 I just, what has it been? It's been a year since that came out. Iron Flame. Iron Flame. Year Fourth Wing is half. like years before. Not that far. Fourth Wing is the first Fourth Wing book. is a couple years old now, yeah. isn't it? Curious. Yeah. No, because they feel like Google it just check. blew up. It. it just blew up, yes, but it was published bef okay. like a little bit before that. Okay. T until TikTok, book talk got yeah. a hold of it. So Iron Flame came out Halloween 2023. 23. That, that's the second one. Fourth Wing, Wing came out May 2023. Oh, yeah. It was really close together. Oh. They rushed Iron they, Flame. They, they really well, I mean, like, it's clear they rushed Iron Flame. That's, writing, that's literal. And then Onyx literally. Storm, yeah. which is the third to one. the day. It's coming out yeah. January. Jan early January 2025. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Onyx so, Storm? Yes. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Same. So, so I will say, um, it's been a long time, right? I was an avid reader when I was younger and through college probably. And then real world hit and I just kind of fell out of it for, you know, multitude of reasons. And I've just recently like come back into reading in the last two years, maybe three years at most. And I am so enjoying it and really, really love it. I just got my very first Kindle ever for Christmas this past year. Um, and it's really fun. And I will say fantasy is definitely where my heart lies, but I like reading all different kinds. And so the book club that I'm in is um, affiliated or, or it came from the gym that Jenny and I go to specifically. And ladies just got together organically and said, hey, let's start a book club. And so we started doing it and we've surpassed our year mark now. We're into our second year, a few months in. And it's interesting because it's probably a group of anywhere between like 10 and 15 women-ish that come regularly, right? And then there are a couple people that will sort of moonlight and they'll come in and they'll go out, which is totally cool. I kind of like that it's that flexible, um, do people come and go depending on if they liked the book? We've noticed that recently. Yes. So, okay. so one thing that we actually just talked about this past week at our, um, book club is this idea we were trying to plan ahead for, you know, the second year of this. Mm -hmm. And Jenny brought up this idea that it's a requirement in her other book club where the person who recommends it has to have read it to like vet it. Right. And like stand behind the book, that it is a quality read, that it's going to be a fun discussion. Mm -hmm. And because we've had at least two books where the person who selected it very blatantly said like, I'm so sorry. Like mm -hmm. I had no idea it was going to go that way or, or I just thought it was going to be better or different things. So, and we've read the whole gamut, right? There's been um, fiction, there's psychological thrillers, there's been, um, a really heavy one that was all about uh, this um, war, like a trauma journalist, basically, who went and interviewed people who had survived atrocities in war recently. Um, and like, I think five people showed up for that book club because wow, it was that's a heavy it topic. Was so I heavy that out. most people opted out or started and just couldn't finish. Um, and so I think like this club is very new, right? And so we're still finding our footing. Like we're still deciding like how we like for it to go, um, you know, what's what's helpful versus what's nice to just like kind of let it be loose and let it be fun. So we're still like ironing it out. Um, I will say I'm 
a little jealous of Nicole's book club that she will share about it's because the best <laughs> book club. It I, does sound mine fun. is very themed and structured. <laughs> yeah, the one from Jim is kind of like new and figuring it out mm-hmm. along the way, kind of. And but it cool. is fun for the community. <laughs> I will say, yeah. like, it has enhanced my experience in the gym. Um, of getting to see those ladies like when I go to work out it's fun to like have those extra touch points with people that just right. make you feel closer and enhance that community a lot so I like that aspect of it yeah our, my book club is a neighborhood book club also and it just started actually this year too so okay. it's a relatively new book club and there are two book clubs in our neighborhood there's like the traditional book club which I feel like is more like what you're talking about with the burr or the gym book club mm-hmm. where they like pick a book, they sit around and they discuss it. And there's like, they read the like, people have questions people have to questions ask and, discuss. and there's this, questions. Yeah. Like there's, I'm, oh, that's, yeah. that's I'm coming from normal. the perspective of like, I'm not in a book club. So book what club are these discussions? Think about like the end when you watch, read your kids books and at the end they have like the questions of like, what did you understand the comprehension? What was the, the meaning? What was the yeah. symbolism of the red scarf? You know, like, so like <laughs> correction. Uh, okay. I, I think that it might be, um, false to make it sound like these are comprehension questions like you would get in an English class. I think that's okay. like what it feels for that me. is not how <laughs> a good book club is okay. run. They might be discussion questions or opinion. Or how did this scenario make you feel? What or, might you have done in this scenario if you were posed with the same questions? Or if it was a movie, who would you cast as the characters? I've never oh, heard that question. Oh, we mm-hmm. haven't had that question yeah, yet. It doesn't ours. have like to that. be like, what is the meaning of this that the author intended? Yeah, because that sounds that's, very English class to me. It's not. That's all. It's that's not my that. experience at any book club I've been to besides this new one. Besides the so new one. So far in my yeah. one, we've had very formal literary there's questions. there's not a right or a wrong answer. There's not a right or a wrong. It's just what you prefer. Mm-hmm. It's not a quiz. I will say that. If didn't, I, didn't you say that, oh no, it was somebody else, uh, an, another gal, we were talking at book club on Monday and she's like, oh yeah, in this other book club she was a part of, there was a person who hosted and literally quizzed Quiz them. the people Ooh. who showed up yeah, to discuss not, the book. And I was like, not, oh. No, I, I will stop. say our book club in December has plays games that mm-hmm. but it's it's not about one book and it's just all in good fun and it's like they read quotes from all of the 11 books during the year and you're on a team and you have to like get, name the book I like that and it sounds it's so really, really, stressful yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> so maybe it stresses me out that absolutely not like, no it's no fun when you. I read things like I remember but I don't oh. remember like that oh, no. quotes, like, quotes like, speak to my heart so I do like that one I read yeah. it I, I ingest it and uh-huh. then like it out leaves. and then it goes. Yeah. You also read rally. like a hundred plus books a But year, I bet you if we were playing a game and we talked about a character named Lorcan who said, who did this to you? You would know. Yes. Yes, I <laughs> you would. You would know and you but, would be excited that you recognize so the reference. so Lorcan did. Yeah. <laughs> I don't so, know that I yet. mean, oh. there are some books that have a longevity of my memory. Yeah, yeah. But there are others I just enjoy in the moment and I am not there to like... Like Priest? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Priest is a... Yeah. <laughs> I need to talk about okay, your wait, 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 wait. You right. need to get it out there. Yeah, your okay. neighborhood book club. So our neighborhood book club, shout out to the Briar Chapel Spicy Book Club. Okay, this is a book club only for spicy books. And we alternate between contemporary romance spicy and fantasy spicy. Romanticy. Romanticy. So like every other month. Every other month. And it is purely like about the smut. And that Excellent. is only... Fa- <laughs> oh no <laughs> that is just, only february in my neighborhood that Wait. is all year long here take a beat <laughs> you can edit around that <laughs> sorry i'm gonna just put it okay. in there so i'm gonna like to add it to tights. a tiktok where i say something about smut and she just <laughs> 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 now i'm gonna blush so let's go get that too <laughs> like i'll read your face and back to book club so <laughs> spicy for us is only february yeah we spice is all year long, you can enjoy <laughs> your flavor of spice. So you have smut, and that. then you have the romanticy, yeah, fantasy based. Yeah, and we we pick it based off the level of smut involved in that fantasy. Mm. Book. And you only pick one month in advance, right? Yeah, like, that's stressful. I like to plan my year. Oh no! So when we're at book club, people recommend books at the end. Do like, you have any rules like having read it like the other ones? No. Or okay. Who picks? Like, I'm it's sure some outgoing loud voices. Everybody often, like, like shouts dominate. out, and then we mm-hmm. put them up on the screen, and then there's like a vote. You vote for them. Oh, cool. I will say there was one advantage that we kind of discussed in our book club of having the list picked out at least a couple months in advance for folks who liked to um, loan the books through the public library. 
Sometimes you need a month or two month or three month lead time to get on the list for that book. And so that was one thing that just hadn't occurred to me because I I do have Kindle Unlimited, right? Like I pay for that service. And so it was, it was a good reminder that having the access to the free books was nice to yeah, have more advanced notice. I think a lot of the books we pick are on the public library. <laughs> no, I, that is a fair statement. You know what? On I don't even know. Library. I think we should do libraries try. have and just smut. They do. Uh-oh. I mean, they have like they have the, the Fifty Shades of Grey. They have That's Verity, not I'm sure. You know, but like not, I mean, I would say that okay. the, not the five pepper spices yeah. or four pepper spices. Yeah, in general, okay. there's not a lot at the public library. They're like I'm checking out this. for this. this I'm is, find is, out. What about going to like an adult store? Do they sell that kind of stuff? No, not books. They might. Yeah, I'm, I like wonder. I'm not sure that the sales that be like for a these types of books model. are often in print. I feel yeah. like a lot of women prefer to read them on Kindle or Correct. Audible. That's so, so interesting. Not like a, you know, a picture of a blonde Fabio on the oh, cover, no. like writing. <laughs> like but but so many yes. covers aren't like that anymore, too. Like yeah. I saw a picture in some some book related group that I'm in on Facebook, and Anna it was a picture Wons. of a woman oh God, sitting on a cruise ship, and this other person like zoomed in on this other person's <laughs> book, and it was the cover of Credence. But that's not oh, like yeah. at all. All suggestive. Yeah, it's like it's like a picture of like forest, like pine tree. Yeah, it's like you wouldn't know. And like yeah. Anna Huang, she's yeah, really the, popular the right one. now. Yeah. She took off during COVID. I love mm-hmm. her book. And all of her covers are very subdued. There's a second version that's very subdued. Oh, yeah. nice. And then there's tons that are like cartoony. So in my mind, like it would be in print, but hidden in plain sight. Yeah, I will say we do decide, we do check to see if it's on Kindle Unlimited. And that's that nice. like is a preference as for we're sure, picking for through sure. so that it's not a thing. But so people who buy it, we just trade it around in the neighborhood. Oh, that's yeah. nice. It's like people will trade it around the neighborhood because um, it's in our neighborhood. <laughs> I do like not having to Trading purchase. Trading smut. Can you yeah. imagine if dudes trade like men Gen- back mean, in the day? Gen- or did they? Germs involved. What are you doing with well, your books? Are you books? like smutting I don't read books? smut. <laughs> so you I don't. Do read that's read the first smut. Jennifer. You do read smut, Jennifer. <laughs> do not lie. I mean, I read Fourth Wing. That's not. That's smut. not it's even spicy. spicy. Not even. No. I, I didn't that find that steamy. spicy at all. But no, I haven't yet. Oh, that's it's true. It's on my list. Yeah. Steamy. But no, I it's haven't. It's steamy, not it's steamy. spicy. And How not do you define smut. steamy, yeah. spicy What's, smut? It's about the percentage of smut in a book. And well, what the level defines of, yeah. smut? Of gratuitous, like the like when it goes to like the level of description. Black. The level of like when it's like fade to black. Steam. Yeah, that to me that's is like steam. Okay. Versus okay, so I've read more than that. Okay. Yeah. Then that like Fourth Wing. Yeah, that's spice. Fourth wing, I'd say not fourth wing, but I'd say Akatar has spice. I loved Akatar. Yeah. So what you do what read. kind of descriptions were in Akatar for got, spice? You gotta get to like book five though. Absolutely like, not. <laughs> you gotta get to like book five to get any spice. Can't do it. Um, can't it do would it. mean a lot to me. I I know, but when when I got halfway through the graphic audio, I thought I was done the first <laughs> one and realized I was halfway done no. and I just like, I couldn't do I it. I still remember you texted me and you're like, so I finished Akatar and like, I don't totally get like what you girls are so hyped about. <laughs> I was like, what happened when you stopped listening? And she said, and I was like, that is happening. Babe. <laughs> Babe. God. I was like, you haven't reached the trials yet? Like so much no. happens. No. But like, it does get better. <laughs> But there was again, one line that young. like icked me Ooh, in that book. Ick? I want to hear it. The curve of his ear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's an <laughs> ick for you. It is that a big ick. ick? Mm-hmm. So no fairy. Okay, I also like, yeah, am that's, also having a hard no. time seeing that that is your ick after reading Pucking Around. <laughs> <laughs> I have now finished all the books okay, that are out. Okay, hold on. Time out, ladies. So far. Man. We should not be yucking each other. I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm no, not. Yucking. I'm not yucking. I'm but like, I, I, just, I had a really hard time with like the the fantasy aspect of it oh, to begin with. Like that the, makes sense. The fantasy part of Fourth Wing was really hard for me. Okay. And the the plot itself, I found very predictable. Like, obviously, there's all this tension. There's so many tropes. Yeah. Yeah. The the tropeness, I didn't quite love so much. So I, I know. I'm, I'm crushing sorry. Jenny's heart. I'm sorry. It was hard for me. It you was know, really hard. I wonder if like. Um, so, so in the similar vein, like Crescent City was set in a more modern world. Like there was still fantasy elements uh-huh. and there were fantasy characters, right? Or, uh-huh. or you know, she species. will hate Crescent City. Most people but, no, no, no. My Crescent question was City. like Crescent City, but most people that we know that we affiliate with loved Agatar and she didn't. Right. So right. Like, let's not generalize to say most people hate it. The, the hardcore Sarah J Moss people. Crescent City really threw them for a loop because it was this modern city and people had guns, but they also used swords and like they but had were cell there phones. non-human. Yes. Th- yes, I think that's the part I don't like. Okay, I wow. also they're think- cute little otters that deliver your mail. 
What? But what's yeah. spicy about I that? I haven't gotten there oh. yet. Oh. So we need to we'll stop talking. Stop I, 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 so that right. that confuses me then too. Like there's <laughs> like there's spicy Do you like things. Disney movies or like anything with fantasy or animated or like character. <laughs> Meh. See, I find like that I can jam. enjoy books better the less realistic they are. Mm-hmm. Ah, and I think I'm the opposite. I'm figuring out. I want it realistic, relatable, where I can actually picture myself as the character. Oh, see, I can picture myself me. running horseback is a fairy. through a field <laughs> with a sword on my back. Like, I can picture <laughs> That's myself. Amazing. All of the things. That's so cool. One of these days, I would be so happy. They have these oh archery on horseback riding <gasps> lessons. That's awesome. That I've wanted to do for years. Okay, Ashley, you'll do that with us. I, Nicole will take I've pictures. been on the horse <laughs> once for you guys. I'll do it again. I mean, I have to do it at least one more time. So. Well, yes, yeah. you well, do. When we go to the Ren Fair, we can practice a little archery. Yeah, I've never done that. I would love to. Yes, really oh, we're fun. going to. I would love to try we're that. Okay, so back to book club. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Like, totally off to the fantasy books. We like fantasy books. Our one person here does not like fantasy books. She's That's our okay. outlier here. Okay. I'm, I'm the realistic fiction so, one. But I'm curious of okay. the book clubs you've heard described. An online one, a spicy one, kind of like a month really to month one, mm-hmm. a more structured, very themed one. Mm-hmm. Which would you hypothetically join if you if forced? Definitely the smut one. Oh, my <laughs> book club Definitely. for sure. Like, Obviously my book club for sure. Yeah. Wait, if so I, she would only attend every other month though. Because then the she fantasy, can't do fantasy. Well, but it depends. Like what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, Is like, it one the creatures like, with their like, like creature parts doing things yeah, or is it like, are you thinking like ice planet barbarians kind of thing <laughs> no but i'm like, thinking of like bad dragon dildos comes to life I- ice planet okay it, like think similar. of it like when you're talking about uh, uh, hold, hold, i don't want i don't yes. want to know we don't pause. need no? to pause Wait, just okay no, All right. when you're talking about like <laughs> fantasy you know. when no, you're talking no, about fantasy you. slot it is like fairies but they're humans they just have pointy ears they're like picture them as, as humans with pointy ears if I can not picture the pointy ears. Just ignore the pointy ear part. But the oh, I'm like ears. into okay. the pointy ears. Okay, interesting. But essentially, like, I picture them as humans. I don't even picture them as, like, in I my brain. Say, and maybe that's where I got stuck with, like, Akatars because there was this, like, tension with the wolf guy and, like, the animalness I, like, didn't get. Oh, yeah, but he's get. a person. He, like, shapeshifts. Uh, okay, when I picture the shapeshift thing, <laughs> I picture, like, um, like, Wolverine. Yeah. So, that's, like animal but then person. he becomes like a person he becomes a wolf in his it's like twilight in his yeah. animal form he's truly like that. a four-legged wolf you running around twilight? no oh we're gonna do a movie night okay the books are so much better but lord knows you won't read them so yeah we'll have to do <laughs> no, a we're, movie. Gonna movie we're watching twilight okay <laughs> And, and Bridgerton. Fifty Shades of Grey and Bridgerton. And we're also doing a podcast episode on the go. Oh, boy. Excellent. Set. Did you buy more stuff? I, I plead the fifth. I'm just saying we're doing a <laughs> podcast episode on the go. In I'm Wilmington. here for it. Yeah. So what, so I, what do you what want to get out of your book club then? I mean, my book club. Okay. What is the purpose? The purpose is a social community, right? Mm-hmm. Like, so it's not that like we go to book club and that's it, right? We have a book club Facebook messenger chat where we chat all the time about books you chat as things. you're reading it or do you save the discussion for like when you actually get together I mean we chat as we're reading it in yeah. terms of as people are reading it throughout the month okay. and like and with we like a no spoilers rule yeah, or something it's just mostly how like how can you spoil it they do it they do it they do it at the end I, like, <laughs> There's there, no plot twist. They, they might break there up. There are definitely plot twists in Smut for sure. <laughs> I mean, missionary whole, from behind. That's the plot this twist. Is not the podcast <laughs> I thought we were going to have on book clubs. The, the holes fill the plot. Uh-huh. The plot fills the holes. Yeah, oh I mean, dear. All the holes. <laughs> um, but like <laughs> it is for community, right? So like, it's not even just that, like it, that we're going like we're going to somebody's house and we're hanging out as like most of us are moms or single women or not single like it's a it's a variety right there's single women there's women with no kids there's women with kids and we're all just like coming together hanging out having wine well, and chilling. it's like yeah, 30 or 40 of you yeah it's a it's oh, a large it's group so yours big. is a very big group what about your guys's book cups how it's big 10 to 15 okay we get a range uh, from that both extremes. Like I think our first, 30. our first or early ones were maybe like 15 people ish. I mean, you can still have like a conversation with only a little bit of sidebar so that size, but like a big size. How yeah. do you convert? There's a key. We have a key. The, like, like a talking stick. Yeah. A talking stick. Ah. Like a talking key. The, you need like, a bookmark. We'll go around. You need like an oversized bookmark or yeah. something. <laughs> it is shocking. It's not a dildo, but it is maybe I'll say it less. <laughs> but it's a key. You and we have like, I mean, dildo. I would say we have probably like, 20-ish okay. minutes of discussion. And it's mostly like 
did you like this trope or not? Like, mm. basically. In the smut one. Yeah. Okay. And I would say we talk probably an hour. Like, oh my an god, hour of wow. social time, and there's like an hour of book talk. But like, Very also, I like that. my book club is usually on a Friday night because when we've done it on a weeknight. Everybody's really in pain the next day. <laughs> no, we get many a Marco from you at like one or two a.m. when you're oh, coming home true. from book club. Yeah, so book club lands. Nothing after. else keeps you up that late. Yeah. Not us. Not your husband. But well, I'm sure her husband we does after her. book club. club. Yeah, I can't. But spicy book club. Keep talking while I look. No, what I love though is like even just within our very small sample. Obviously, very very different experiences. Very different like things that you want to get out of it. I will mm -hmm. say. I do kind of love the idea of one that hones in a little bit more on my own personal interests because like Jenny, you mentioned this earlier, I do tend to read to escape. Like I, I have all the respect for historical, you know, biographical, all the different genres. And I've certainly read my fair share, but at this point in my life, when I have the time to read, I want it to be something fantastical and something that like is just an escape and fun and a journey to go on. Like that's what I want to get out of it. And so I find myself, I have to like fit in the book club books around what else I'm reading that I'm choosing to read. And so that's like my only hesitation, I guess, or maybe I just need to join another one, but I don't know if I have time for two. Well, it's tough when you have like a different... <laughs> When you have a different person picking every month, it could be like widely yeah. mm -hmm. different, especially if they haven't read before. Like I, I, I get your point. Yeah. I think for me, I have a couple guidelines. Like I don't want to read anything with like graphic violence. Mm -hmm. I don't want to read mm -hmm. anything where oh, you don't a child, like mafia. I don't want to read anything where a child dies. I don't yeah. want anything to put like more disturbing thoughts in my already anxious brain. Mm -hmm. And so do your book clubs do trigger warnings on the books? Yeah. Okay. Well, and so the one with the non nonfiction with the, the war journalist mm -hmm. I opted out of, there was another um, memoir I opted out of. So it, I understand that, right. There's yeah. like a line, but I don't, always want like a Frodo experience fantasy. Like I am good with like some of these like ethical dilemmas or, yeah. you know, discussing fiction that's entertain. Like I want it to be entertaining mm -hmm. and say so the exact opposite. Like I don't want to think anymore. Like yeah. I have think enough all day long. I want to like escape. Yeah. And not even necessarily like fantasy. Cause I feel like in fantasy, it's very like, Taylor Swift encoded. I yeah, but I like that part. Like gets me excited. So I what love do you mean? That. Taylor Swift. Yeah. Encoded. Like okay, all of the Sarah J. Moss books are Taylor Swift encoded. Like they all connect. There's all secret meanings. Everything is kind of like interconnected. Oh yeah, hints, it's a whole world yeah, that you whole, don't even know or hints oh, until yeah, yeah, you're yeah. four books in. It's very Taylor Swift coded. And then there's okay. songs that, in my opinion, on the new Taylor Swift album that are very Sarah J. Moss oh, encoded. Oh, I completely agree. And I literally love them. But my whole entire point is like I don't want to like have to figure out the puzzle. Like I want to just like, I will say you don't yeah. have to figure those no, have to. out in order to read the book and no, to I know. Have. Cause by the end she'll explain all the things. No, she does not. For anyone <laughs> who has not read them and is interested in reading them, you don't have to figure it all out on your own. Lies. There are people like you who you want to be the first, you want to figure it out, but then you're not, you're saying that you don't want to put the brain power into figuring it out as you go. You I, I wouldn't just, remember it to be able I to do figure not it out. Think, no spoilers, but I do not think that she laid out the connections from Crescent City and Crescent City is supposed to be over. Like, right. Hmm? Is no. it completed? City? No, uh, not oh. necessarily. Uh, there are some people, Ashley, who literally take this mm -hmm. anthology of books, right? It's seven nine books for Throne of Glass, three, five books for Akatar, three Six books for Crescent soon. City. They're all connected. And they have I mean, connections I, through all the people buy that. will annotate, they'll highlight, they Smart. underline, they tab, they make wall charts, right? Like I'm not that level. Sure. No, but I but if they want to write a dissertation for fun, mm -hmm. like they that, write that's cool. dissertations on it. And, yeah, it's and just, that's awesome. And yeah. it's, it's fun to them. like listen and learn. Yeah, after yeah, you yeah, read yeah, it. yeah, yeah. But I yeah. agree. Like I don't do the legwork. Same they, with they do the brain work. In I don't real do the time, brain I work. Do I just it. let you tell me what it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, but like I can't <laughs> not do the brain work. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's not an escape for me. But like I don't. I can't not. That's not me. Like I can't just like sit there and be like, 
Like it, my brain automatically is making that connection. Oh, that thing. Does that have to do with that mm-hmm. thing? Oh my God, I got to go back and look at that thing to see if it connected to that thing. And like, mm. I am there all so the way. So what is like in. the favorite book that you've read recently? Like if you had to recommend one or two, what would your favorites be? Oh God. Like I don't. <sighs> <laughs> I'm going to go outside the fantasy genre. And I read The One, and now I'm blanking on the author's name, but it was a um, kind of like social dilemma, moral um, sort of look at the world based around this idea that um, within your DNA, the scientists discovered this one gene that shows you your one true match in the entire world, right? You were telling me about this. Mm -hmm. And it follows the story of like six different people and like whether they choose to get the testing or they don't choose to get the testing and how it impacts their relationships and with their interactions with the world around them. And like, it gets wild. Like it's super fun. Like uh, this is not a big, well, maybe I won't say it. I won't say it for anyone interested, but like you get all people from all walks of life in this. Right. And I recommended it to our book club because I was like, the conversations we could have from this one would be so fun because like, Mm -hmm. I don't know what I would do in a bunch of the different situations that they posed in that book. And those are the kind of ones that I really do enjoy. So like, I'm ready to read that one again because I'm like, so much happened in it. It was fun. Okay. So I won't give you like my favorite because like, like I said, I read it, digest it, like out it goes. But I'll (laughs) give you the last two things I've read. So my book club book was The Perfect Fit by Sadie Kincaid, which was a MMC. I don't know if that's the right trope. Male, male, male something? Male, I don't know what MMC you're talking about. MMC means male main like character. Oh, yeah. MMF? Yeah. MMF? MM, MM, MMF? Just speaking words. So three dudes and <laughs> yeah, one female. Dudes, one MF. Female. Who was MM. like the linchpin in that though? One of the guys? No, it was the female. So MF. M- it's M- just porn. MMFM, I think. <laughs> so it usually. It's literally whoever's in the middle the is in the middle. Two, it, the first two are the two main. And then whatever comes after that is like the additional. I'd say the female was the main and then the guys yeah. were just the like extra yeah, bonus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, reverse harem style? Yeah, reverse harem style. Yeah. Um, and then I just read the Empire series by K.A. Tucker, um, mm. which I really enjoyed. I really like her Wolf series also, the Wolf Hotel series. So, like, I read this new series. And I, I read it because it was, like, free on Audible. And I could listen to it. And listening is reading for all of you out here. Mm-hmm. Okay. I agree. Not, for sure. There are people who don't agree, right? The listening is reading. But listening is reading. Um, and so those were the last two that I have read. Okay. And now I'm, like... Wait, and now, because I finished that one, the newest King of uh, King of Sloth came out from Anna mm. Hung. Her newest book came out just like on the 30th. So. I just got access to King of Wrath. Oh, I'm excited so to good. Read that one. Um, so the newest one of the King of Wrath series just okay. came out and that's on my like TBR it for next. makes it good. Is it spicy and romantic or like? Ethical dilemma plot. I don't do ethical no, dilemma plot. No, there's like plot. plot at all? Yeah, I mean, okay. there's a plot. It's there. (laughs) Okay. It's not the main focus of the book. Okay. Excellent. What's your favorite book you've read recently, Jenny? I mean, it's hard, right? I just, when I was younger, I loved like Harry Potter and I really liked, you know, that was the first series where I experienced like waiting for the next one to come out and kind Mm -hmm. of grew up with the series. Do I think it's the best book ever? No, but I remember kind of like loving it then. And that, um, I feel like for me, Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses, a series like hit that spot where it was like, oh, I really like want to keep reading. I want mm. to see what happens. Um, I really enjoy Fourth Wing, um, probably even more than Akatar. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, that's interesting. I mean, it's like Harry Potter with dragons. And instead of high school, it's college. And then a little bit of spice and I'm sold. <laughs> but like um, better than Akatar? Mm-hmm. I'll say I like Throne of Glass better than Akatar. I see in Throne of Glass, like I enjoy, but I don't love it the way that oh. I loved Akatar and, and Fourth. Akatar was my gateway. Um, but I don't think I'm like my, only like, fantasy person. I just like, I really appreciate the books where like you look forward to going back mm-hmm. and reading them. Like you can't put them down. Like, oops, it's 2 a.m. and I'm still reading. Mm-hmm. That's really magical for me. And I'm very grateful to find that again. And I, there are other fiction books where I found that. Yeah. As well. See, us people with addictive personalities don't have that problem because we really can't put the book down, no matter what (laughs) book it is. No, I have a really hard time sometimes with the book club books so that I do it on Audible first. 
to like get into it. And then maybe if I'm into it enough, I can read the book book, but I have a really hard time. Mm. I've only ever DNF'd one book. Yeah, I know. Just one in my whole entire life. <laughs> That's pretty right, good though. Sorry. How about you, Ashley? Ashley, what's your favorite Is your favorite book? my DNF? Um, so I don't read nearly as much as you guys do. So I don't have as much to like pull from, but like in the last year or two, probably actually. Yeah. I think so. I just, Wait, which you got to name the book. Pucking Around. Yeah. I actually just finished the whole series, like the most recent book in the See, series. I didn't realize it was even a series. Yeah, because there's a prequel. Yeah, there's a, prequel. a couple like Happily Ever After novellas that come after them oh. too. And the one I just finished is the second book that's about one of the, like it's a, a spinoff basically from oh, the other okay. characters. And then like the main characters from the main I book. I really liked the no prequel. The prequel? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I think I liked Halfway through pucking around. Uh-huh. But it was 900 pages. I had so no commitment. idea because I read it on Kindle. So I was just like devouring the whole thing because mm. it was, well, she was devouring a lot too. Well, yeah, I just, <laughs> Great. there was a lot of devouring happening. I feel yeah, like we Jenny's need to put a face. disclaimer at the top of this episode Trigger also warning. that we didn't discuss, there's going to be adult content in this I one. Mean, so we'll adult them. content in all of our conversations. <laughs> yeah, they're always marked 18. not for kids. Yeah, I always mark everything not for children, 18 and up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. I mean, I, Bridgerton also is really good. Like the books? Want, yeah, just mm. a, a romance and... No, I don't want just a romance. Spice. There's a spice sp- in Bridgerton. A smidge of spice. Light spice. Mm-mm. I'm More. really looking forward to this uh, this season of Bridgerton. I have all the books signed by the author. Well, I don't really want to read the book because I want to, <laughs> like, I really... She wants the spice. Yeah. yeah. I'm really looking forward to the way they have, like, something about the way Shonda rhymes, like, yeah. up, like transforms the upcoming characters yeah, from like them up. from like ploppy They're to glow like ups. glow ups yeah and mm-hmm. like Nicole Nicola 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 Nicola's glow up is like so amazing she's yes. always been beautiful. I, oh, I know but they did a good it. job yeah. of like kind of downplaying her until it was her season yeah, mm-hmm. and also the guy like he looked like a muppet and then they've like There's really so glowed him magic up. well like, they've grown up a little bit too to I mean the sideburns like yeah whew, thank god I love it. So, Um, well, I also, this is my official vote that sometime in the near future that we need uh, a She Reads book club. Sure. We're going to have a hard time picking some books. I you know what? There's 12 months a year. There's four of us. So we each get three months and we we alternate the end. I like it. I like how she's like, the end. Someday we're going to have it. (laughs) I'm going to go over here like, I'm going to make you read the dirtiest Yes. filthiest book Please. I can find. Okay. So I would you're not doing that because you DNF'd the that, filthiest I, book you've ever read. I, so. But like, I don't think I DNF'd it because it was filthy. I DNF'd it because the plot like and the filth together <laughs> was like too I thought much. it was the fluids for you guys that you that, didn't that's like. That's what I said. The, the fluids <laughs> were for sure problematic. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's more... It's not book club. It is. This is a, no, it is. This is a minor discussion book. we have at my book club. Uh, Jenny's very you, uncomfortable. This is like How detail many detail that was fluids is okay for you at one time? Oh. I... That's true because you haven't read this particular book, and I'm I'm intrigued because when you guys talk about spice and smut, like She's for, for me, my baseline that. is there. She's right. The hard thing is that was the first like smutty book I ever really I read. My versatile spice, scale, but I want there to be a That's plot not, that could withstand without the let's, spice. Let's let's no. agree the fact first, just just from the baseline that there's no like agreed upon scale of what constitutes Fair. spicy versus smut versus like the five star pepper, right? Like it is such a spectrum and I think we just need to give each other grace and ourselves grace that like what your version of spice is versus what your version and your version and my version are gonna be slightly different well and it's the same with food like I can handle a curry yeah. from in the so Indian I, restaurant I but think not. <laughs> I think when I'm saying spice I'm using that in place of how graphic how mm-hmm. explicit I would say the majority of people would call pucking around erotica mm-hmm Okay, that's so all like, I want to read. Smut. If I, <laughs> spice, I don't have a lot of time, so that's all no, I want to read. Erotica. Steam, steam spice, spice, smut, smut erotica. erotica. Okay, so apparently I like erotica okay. then. So steam, interesting. spice, smut, and erotica. <laughs> Very interesting. Yes. We are all the spectrum. <laughs> I love it. Oh, ladies. Well, I think that wraps up this week's <laughs> episode of She Back Unleashed with a wild discussion. I love it. Okay, if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and tag us and on your book clubs. We want to hear about all the book clubs you're in and also all the books that you recommend for us to read. And from like your favorite thing about how you do book club. 
book. Yeah, that yeah. too. Yeah. But also like why you go to book club, right? Mm-hmm. Is it for the actual discussion or is it for community? <laughs> like what is the reason you do a book escaping club? Escaping your house. Yeah, escaping your house <laughs> and your children. Who yeah. knows, right? Like, I think to- we need to retitle this. Like it's from steam to erotica is really what we <laughs> talked about. Not so much between the pages. It's but- between all the pages. You do you, boo. Yeah. Um, Thank you for being a part of our pack. This is Ashley, Jenny, Nicole, and Tanya signing off. Stay wild and fierce. (laughs) I gave them it. Go back and say the two types. So they're... (laughs) Fucking droopy ass microphone. We need a more smutty microphone. Get it up. It needs microphone Viagra. It does need microphone Viagra. Can you hold it together? (laughs) Squeeze tighter. Oh, no God. more, lady. It needs a, it needs a tighter, down. it needs a tighter uh, cock ring. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat>